Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. All right, so, hi kitties. He's here because there's boxes. Okay, I got everything else today. So we're gonna check all that out. I did go to the Botanical Gardens today with my wife and I used the A7R4 with the Sigma 85 1.4. Amazing. And I did test both lenses yesterday, amazing. But that 100 to 400, uh, I mean, I got pictures of a plane that was flying over at the uh, the base. And, you know, like, I mean, if I could have been up higher, more level with it, I could have gotten inside the windows. I mean, that's how amazing that lens is. So, yay. But I'm going to do proper reviews on those two lenses later. Today, we're just going to unbox some shit. Let's get to it. He thinks we're doing yoga. Because this is where we do it, don't we? We do kitty yoga. Okay, so I'm, this is the... Ooh, this is the flash. Which hopefully is fine, because I dropped it on the floor when I walked in, because it's slippery, and I was holding everything else. Better of a cut. Okay. Oh, all right. So it's like triple box. It should be fine. So yeah, here it is. The uh, Godox 8200 Pro Flash. I don't think that it has the kit in it because I don't think I was like, why do I need all that? It's just a bunch of crap I'm never going to use. And then the uh, X Pro firing unit for Sony. So now I finally have a flash that works with my Sony stuff, not with Panasonic shit that I don't have anymore. All right, we'll set that over here. This is what was supposed to have come yesterday. The, uh, the eye cup for the A7R4 to combat my big greasy schlong to come back my big greasy schnoz. And then I've got my UV filters from Freewell. So 77 millimeter and 67 millimeter. And then this is the tripod. Don't you love that? They just have it chucked in here. Oh. So it's a Neewer. I couldn't remember. I went back and forth, and the only reason I got this one is because it had a 30% off sale. So again, it was like $43. And Neewer stuff isn't bad at all. Comes with a nice case. I'll open this up. I don't need to open that other shit up on, on cam. Definitely not going to open the filters because, you know, dust will immediately adhere to it. I'm guessing that's some kind of an extension. Don't need the silica gel. directions. Again, some kind of bowl, post, something. And this is as big as it is. So basically the length of from my fingertips to my elbow, which doesn't really help you much because you have no freaking idea how long that is, but this is fairly small. It's aluminum. It's you know, light enough. And then it looks like there locks in place. And then for some reason they have a bag over the ball head, 
much once we sense that bitch down and there we go and then under here it has a little hook for sandbags i don't know if you can see it trust me it's there and i did order uh for sandbags those will be here i think next week maybe tomorrow not that important but i figured if i'm going to have something like this and i'm going to have you know six thousand dollars worth of camera gear on top of it i want it to be held in place so yeah this will definitely be noise now what is this thing for i know you can pull this out and flip it upside down so you can get those like low hanging shots I'll read the directions to figure out what the hell that's for. I honestly have no idea. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I was waiting for. Uh, the, the most important thing being these two filters. Uh, you know, I mean, I could live without the eye cup, but the filters were important because I it just was really tough for me to walk around the past two days with that new gear, those two new lenses without having the protection on it. Okay, that's it. So I'm now going to go in and make sure that my lenses are clean. I'm going to put these filters on, do my eye cup. Then I'm going to offload all my pictures that I took at the botanical gardens today uh, so I can actually see them on the computer. I know they looked amazing on the screen. So uh, relatively quick video. I did tell you that if I got this stuff, I would just do a quick unboxing and that's all I'm going to do today. I still seem to be having problems with my iMac and last night after, fortunately, after I got everything uploaded for the video, yesterday's video and all that stuff, uh, everything froze again. And I literally had to do the power button, hold the power button down until everything shut off and then turned it back on. And it said that it had some kind of software crash. Uh, I mean, everything froze. I couldn't, I couldn't even force quit anything. It, it all froze. So I don't know what the frick is going on. It seems like Final Cut Pro and Chrome are the, the culprits that are that are freezing and it's getting pretty aggravating so i'm hoping that today will be nice and easy so i'm going to go do this video right away while everything is on and presumably not messed up and then i'll dick around with everything after that so if it freezes i can be like screw it i'm done for the night and just be done with it so okay that's it that's all i got for you today if you have any comments or suggestions or whatever, put them down in the comments down below. But as always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.